All right, so where do you start? <laughs> where do you start? Um, so, um, I mean, it seems to be a recurring theme, right? If something's old, look at the capacitors. Um, at least you'll, you'll rule out one, one thing of the equation. Now, uh, you noticed when I was repairing the uh, uh, other instruments, I just go ahead and replace them no matter what. But this is so difficult to get to, uh, you might not want to replace them just because. Uh, I tried measuring these capacitors in circuit, and I was measuring a really strange result. So I figure, okay, uh, what you do is don't commit yourself. Just remove half of the capacitor, right? So I unsoldered the ground connection on this one and just, and just pulled it up, right? So it's now floating here. It's still connected on this side, but it's floating on this side. So now it's electrically disconnected from the circuit. So uh, let's see here. Let's measure some capacitance. And this is the negative side. This is the positive side. And we will measure over here, and we get 165 picofarads. And we have a really good, let's see here, can we get get the ESR? <laughs> Is there an ESR available for this one? Maybe not, because it's a funny, yeah. Uh, anyway, 165 picofarads. That is a 10 microfarad capacitor. <laughs> 10 microfarads at 25 volts. So obviously 164 picofarads is a long ways away from 10, 10 micro microfarads. And it's got three other ones on the, on the other side. And I have disconnected those as well. So let's measure this one. This one is measuring 200 picofarads. This one is measuring 200 picofarads, and this one is measuring 100, uh, 1,800 picofarads, so <laughs> still a long ways away from 10 microfarads. <laughs> okay, so I think we know at least one thing that's wrong with this, uh, with this unit. Um, so the thing to do is to replace these. So I went to the store and I bought some, bought some capacitors. They look like they're almost perfect fit. Let's see. Um, I just asked for 10 microfarad 25 volt and this is what they handed me. And uh, yeah, check that out. Perfect fit. And these are Sprague. Um, very nice capacitors. And so they'll look like they're perfect fit. So we'll replace these. I went ahead and bought 10 of them. They were 14 14 cents each, such a deal. Um, so I will replace these and uh, maybe we can find some other ones somewhere else <laughs> in this instrument that need replacing. Um, so yeah, um, yeah let's, uh, let's get these out of here. They're gonna be a little bit hard to desolder because they're on a, there's a piece of steel here or something. I don't know how, I don't know exactly what this is. It might be like, a, some kind of plated steel that allows you to solder to it, but you need a pretty good soldering iron to get to get the solder to uh, to wet on this uh, big heat sink. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's get these out of there. All right, I've got the biggest tip on my of my soldering iron on here, and uh, let's see. Let's take these off one at a time. Let's do this one. So the uh, plus end is ground on this, so let's see if we can't get some heat into here. Jeez, what's going on here? Does not want to heat up. So we will use some solder to uh, convince it to let loose. There we go. Okay. And what did I say? The positive is on the ground. So let's go ahead and attach this portion first.
All right. And underground. Hard soldering onto a heat sink. But there we go. I got those in. Very nice. And let's do this one. Um, this one, I'm just going to clip. Okay. That's a little long, but it's okay. All right, there we go. Repair complete. Think it'll work? <laughs> we'll find out. analyzer. Yeah, let's see if I can get everything on the same screen here. And I think you can see that. Every time I turn this thing on, I have to uh, put it into NTSC just so it doesn't flicker for you guys. All right, let's turn it on. And um, we will connect up the BNC to RF output. And we are sweeping channel two, sweeping channel three, and number one is not sweeping, but a little cleaner, I would say. A little bit cleaner. Not as many spurs and stuff. Larger amplitude, that's for sure. but not sweeping. Interesting. Why is it not sweeping? It's coming out though, so we must be biasing the, uh, we must be biasing the diode correctly now. Otherwise it wouldn't come out. So that's one thing we fixed. Uh, let's see, did I? Let me wiggle it, oh, let me wiggle it here, maybe it's not. 
Oh, uh, maybe I need to, uh, yeah, maybe I need to put the case back on it. Maybe it's not happy without the case on it. It does seem to act a bit funny when I move it a bit in its socket. Huh. It is moving back and forth. It is jittering a bit, but not acting exactly right. Oh, now it's not. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait. I'm not sweeping right, there we go. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Channel one. Hmm. I don't know. It's acting differently. Okay, let's go to CW mode. Will, will CW mode work? I don't think CW mode works either. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, we certainly fixed part of it. Yeah, let's put the, the case back on it, see maybe if it's happier. Oh, my, my capacitor is sitting up too high. I have to bend him over a little bit. Okay. There we go. And now it goes together. I don't expect this to fix it, but it might. So it's worth a try. Like Google has decided to promote my channel. I don't know. I'm getting a lot more subscribers than I have in the past. Welcome to all the new subscribers. If you haven't uh, been to my channel before, you will notice that I have lots of videos. I have over a thousand videos, so feel free to go back in time and catch up. Episodes one through seventy are me building an MSI computer. That's why I call it, that's why I'm called the MSI guy. And then uh, I started doing other things, a lot of RF things, tiny SA and the nano VNA. I have a lot, a lot of videos on those. I have a lot of videos on repairing old instruments like this one. 
one of my favorite things to do. I love old instruments. All right. All right, see if this helps any. And it does not. I didn't think it would. I did not think it would. Yep, two works, three works, one does not work. But like I say, much, much, much cleaner. So definitely an improvement. And we are getting a signal out. And I don't th think. Now this is external leveling. So if I turn on external leveling, of course it's not leveled. It just goes wacko. Maybe that's a clue though. Which funny? Oh, I'm rattling the switch, and sometimes I get a little spike out there. Can you see that? Is that in the camera? No, it's not in the camera, is it? I guess it was. Maybe the ALC is a bit wonky on the thing. I think that comes out of that same unit, so. Oh, well, improvement, but I'll need to investigate some more. Oh, well. Dirty switch, maybe? I don't think so. Well, no, completely random. That event is completely random. So, yeah, something else is going on. Something else is going on. Sweet. And then stays high. Oh, it stays high. Oh. Uh, well, maybe the maybe that. Um, Maybe that's not biased on yet. So let's measure the frequency of this here. Yeah, it's at 700 megahertz. So when I go from band two to band one, it's nice and solid and clean, but the carrier is at 700 and the carrier should be somewhere between zero and 500. So I still don't think that diode is switching correctly. Um, so I think we fixed fixed a problem, but not the one we were going after. All right, more to follow. <laughs>